Today yeah, we're eating broke, broke college meals. meals. I know for some of y'all, y'all been in college or been through college. If y'all around our age, and I ain't gonna say everybody, but some people may have experienced broke college meals. I necessarily have it, but did you? Uh, I say in college I didn't have a stove. I had more of just a refrigerator. I had no way of cooking. I had microwave. That was yeah. It. I had a microwave. That's it. So I really did have a lot of microwavable foods. But other than cooking, not really. Did you have a stove? We snuck one in. Me and my roommate, we had snuck like you know the electric stove that you plug in, and we had pots and pans. Like we snuck that in. So you know we was cooking it up in our room. Would you say you had broke college meals? I did. Because we didn't even have a stove. Yeah, you did, not, did not have a I did stove. not have a stove. I had yeah. number straight microwaves, so I yeah. had no way of cooking anything. Everything had to be the microwave, or I had to go and buy it. You had one of them that Walmart stove, because I remember. Yeah. So it didn't even taste home cooked, because it, it didn't even get hot enough. Yes, <laughs> so it, it did. Yes, no, it did. It did. Actually did good. And then most of the time, I was eating seafood and the wings. Seafood? Place. With a Walmart stove? No. No, uh, no I'm saying to buy seafood what we was cooking on the stove like we reheat our seafood on that stove and you know okay okay, boil, okay. cook some chicken oh we could rotel oh in a lot of narrow. But today, you guys, we're going to take ourselves back into the past and we're going to go and check out our broke college meals. Y'all comment down below, have y'all experienced broke college meals? Yeah, and if you still is experiencing broke college meals, because I just might, you feel me, mail you a meal, you feel me? But yeah, let's go ahead and get right to this video. Comment down below your favorite college meal. First meal that we have. One of my personally favorites. It wasn't a broke college meal for me, but for you it was because you had a stove, but a bologna sandwich. Hmm, I didn't eat one of those in college. That's crazy. You didn't eat a bologna sandwich? Uh uh. I probably, the last time I probably ate a bologna sandwich, probably like, like 10. I still eat bologna sandwiches now to this day. Well, you never lose sandwich. with a bologna sandwich. So if you don't, I'm putting you on bologna sandwiches. Let's cook it. You gonna have to cook it. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys. So before you get ready to cook your bologna, first thing first is what you need. You need to go ahead and have your plate right here on the left. You got your pan. You got your bologna. It don't matter which one. We got the Oscar Mayer. Then we got the honey wheat bread. Bread. I love honey wheat bread. Because after like, what do you, what you like of yours? Uh, you like yours with bread or without bread? I like it with bread. I just don't like the crust on the bread. You don't like the crust? Uh-uh. But I'm going to eat it today. Okay. All right. So, first and first, we do need to... God damn, we need to grab us some napkins. You feel me? Because you want to clean your bologna. Huh? You want to clean your bologna. You don't supposed to clean bologna. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You don't clean your bologna? I mean, I haven't cooked bologna, so, you but bologna. I, I thought bologna just like bacon, you don't clean it. No, you do clean it. But, like I said, we're going to clean the bologna. You clean your bologna, E. Well, yeah, I thought... I'm going to show you why Why you clean your bologna. Oh. You see that? You see the little white? Well, I don't... Wait, Can I see, you see the, the white? white. Yeah, I see the white. All wait, right. hold on. Let me see the white again. No, no, no. You see the white? Uh, okay, that's why you got to right, clean All right, now watch this. Once you clean the bologna... How long do this take? Hmm? How long do this take? Because you're um, the only person to eat bologna. you barely cleaning it. What are you doing? Supposed to be feeling, rub your thumbs in it. Rub your thumbs in it. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that. Now watch this. You flap it out. You put it on a towel. And you take both sides like this. Okay. So you get all the water out of, you get all of the water out of your bologna. Okay. Now look at the final piece. Look at that. No white marks, is it? No white marks. That's why you clean your bologna. Okay. All you right. got your point. You got your point. Got my point. All right. So let's go on here and get the rest. Go and clean the rest of the bologna. I want to do something. You going you you gonna do something? I'm gonna let you flip it. I'm gonna let you flip it. All okay. right. So go on here. Pour the oil in. You just want. You giving them a bologna tutorial? That's a lot. No, it's not. Cause what you gonna do is. Take it and you're gonna move it all around. Move it all. See, I need more to hold all it's not enough oil. Like, oh there we go. There we go. You wanna fill the whole bottom of the pan up. You take a long time to cook this bologna. Alright, boom, we done. True. Next you wanna get your butter. Get you a nice piece of butter. I'm gonna cut out a nice slice about this big. Boom. Check that out. Check that out. Check it out. Yeah, this the butter you put in there. Now you turn your eye on. Yeah, the eye. It's on fire. All right, you want to melt your butter. Bring it around. Yeah. All right, it's ready. It's ready. We got the bologna. Put your first piece of bologna on. Mm, there we go. It's not hot. Go ahead and put the second piece on. Put the second piece on. Ooh. There you go. The it's starting to sizzle now. What you do next? All right, Elton. So, 
You see how it's popping? Mm-hmm. You gotta go on here, you gotta press down on the top of it because you wanna, you see, you wanna cook the whole piece of bologna, you don't just want the outside cooking. Come on, now, turn the eye down, turn the eye down, turn the eye down. There you go, there you go, hold it down, hold it down on top. Ah! <laughs> it, it, it popped in me! Look, you can't let the bubble, don't let the bubble be on top. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Let's flip to see how they looking. Flip to see how they looking. This one? Mm-hmm. It ain't burnt. You like it was burnt? Y'all tell me that below. How you like your blowing? You like a little bit of burnt? Or do you like it, you know, just slight uh -oh. burnt? Uh-oh, he's stuck on me. How you like yours? I want it a little burnt. A little, a little burnt? burnt? Okay. All right, y'all, so I want to show y'all our bologna. We're done cooking it, and hey, it's, it's all about how you like your bologna, where you like crispy, if you like it, you know, un, unburnt. But yeah, this is how bologna turned out. Elta has already put mayo on her pieces of bologna. Bread, not my bologna. Oh, you put on your bread? Yep. Some people like to put it right on their bologna. Here we go. Now you want to slap that bologna on there. One. Oh, which, which, which pieces you want? Why don't you go pieces? Because I know you be picky. Which one? You like the burnt? Okay, one, two, seven, two. Okay, you will give me the most burnt one. Okay. Because I don't like that. <laughs> this is a little like meal. Full meal taste up in there. You said what? It's a little meal. But in college, this was a full meal. You know what I'm saying? You never. I used to eat this as a kid. So you and your roommate never thought, let's just make some bologna sandwich. No, we never eat the bologna sandwich. In college, if I would have most definitely got the stove, y'all. You would been eating bologna sandwich every day. Did when I was at grandma's house. Cook when I was at, no, I've been cooking bologna since I was at my grandma's house. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. I love to peel the top pieces off. You feel me? Who all do? Comment down below. Mmm, the crunch feels really good with the bread. I don't taste nothing, but burnt. You don't know how to cook bologna. Yes, I do. This is delicious. This is really good. Okay, the middle good. The, the whole sandwich is good. What's the difference between the middle and... The burnt part was overpowering the bologna taste. I'm thirsty. Yeah, it was super thick. Super thick. Two bolognis with bread and cheese. No, because it's not thick cut bologna. It's regular cut bologna. But the, like, me chewing it, trying to get it down, swallow it down, it's thick. You just got some little teeth. That's the problem. <laughs> I thought my teeth was big. Nah. But y'all, y'all, I give this an 8 out of 10. I could, I could do better. I give this a 10 out of 10. No, let's talk about this. She has cheese on hers. I had cheese before. It's really nasty. You don't like it with cheese? I feel like the cheese overpowered the bologna. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep it simple. Just strictly mayo, bologna, bread. Let me try it without the cheese. I bet you like it. Mmm. Mmm. You know That's some. That's the problem. That was the problem. You know some. That cheese. Moving on to the second item for today. I'm not item. Second meal for today. We have. Drum roll. <laughs> Noodles. Ah, uh, uh, and noodles and noodles and noodles. We eat that now. Now, y'all, I still eat noodles till this day. Like, I love noodles. I do too. Yeah, I love he noodles. Love noodles. Too. I like, love noodles. Only thing that I say switch with me with noodles is the flavors. Because, you know, I like different flavors of noodles now. So, let's go ahead and go up in here, babe. What kind of noodles you want? Look, y'all. Don't mind got, our pantry. Our pantry is a little junky, but. We got the shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Hot spicy. spicy shrimp. We got the roast, roast chicken. chicken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might eat roast chicken. I'm tripping. And y'all, y'all, I already know what it is. Let me tell y'all this. One thing, one thing about me though with the noodles is I love my favorite one is beef. And on I top of that, beef. I don't know. Do you like? Do you do you rather your noodles in the packet or do y'all rather your noodles wait, 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 in the no. box? Cause me, I, I eat the packet too. Now I eat the. I eat the packet too. My favorite ones is creamy chicken. I don't like the regular chicken ones, but creamy chicken. No, actually, I think I want to eat this. This is exactly what I want to eat. I love, eat the, I love the cup noodles, y'all, okay. me personally. But the only thing that always had me scared about the cup noodles is what's on the back. What was it that we uh, had discovered recently? Oh, we discovered that you actually don't supposed to microwave these in the cup. And it's crazy because all these years, and still to this day, I be microwaving them in this cup. Ted is the only person who do not microwave them in a the cup no more, but. So, I would be making my noodles differently, but yeah. you could do yours in a cup. No, I'm not doing a cup, because I'm not finna get, you know, whatever it calls with styrofoam. Okay. I ain't, I ain't fooling with that. Okay, no, I'm no, sure what you're asking. How you, how you know what's my last straw? Right here. Do not 
microwave. Y'all tell me, do y'all cook y'all noodles for five, six minutes, or do y'all cook them for three minutes that's on the pack? Cause I never cook them for three minutes. I feel like they don't be done. I cook them for five. Bae, how much, how long you be cooking yours? I say, I always cook my noodles for, I do three minutes and then I, at the stop, I stir them around and do it for two more minutes. Then, five minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all how I cook my noodles. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take the bowl. I always wash my bowl now. This is just a habit of childhood. We got our high spicy beef noodles. All right, we're gonna I always punch a hole through the back of this. You know it. how they really cheating us with that. Huh? Because when you put in it, the noodles supposed to be filled from top to bottom. So why is it only half in there? Mm. Did you ever notice that? Because when you punch a hole at the bottom, it never be like anything in there, but. All right, so I do my water. That's okay. That's, that's a good little amount. I try to do that at was, least half or at least under half. Those are going to be good, actually, because it has a lot of seasoning in that packet. All right, three minutes. I'm going to come back, and then we're going to look at it. All right, y'all, so now three minutes up. Let's see what it's looking like. It's a little hard. You got to, you feel me? Open oh, it no, up. they're not done. No, it ain't done yet. Two more minutes. Hard. You got to let the noodles fully cook through. Let's do it. Two more minutes. We got and it is time to eat them. So I made us some in a plastic bowl. We actually should. Cause it is broke college foods, right? So you feel me? We don't do bowls. In college, I had the plastic. Did you have the plastic? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I, I had plastic. Fancy. No, I did not. I had, I had fancy, plastic. Fancy. Now see, they had a stove. They had, had a toaster. They, they, they were getting right. You feel me? For I me, did. I didn't have all that. I Plastic though, for real. I did have plastic. Gotta, you feel put the hot sauce in the noodles. You ain't even put no hot sauce in your noodles. You know, your booty gonna be burning. Ooh, that's gonna smell so hot. How the spicy beef is actually good. This is my first time trying it. <clears throat> They are spicy. Memories. What what kind of noodles you was eating in um, college? I think I had chicken. I always had creamy chicken. No, no, no I was eating high chicken. spicy shrimp. Now I eat the high spicy beef. I don't upgrade it. I used to eat the creamy chicken and the roast chicken. Creamy chicken just don't taste good to me. Creamy chicken is so good. It's, you gotta know how to fix them because the sauce is thick. Also, y'all comment down below. What are some good ways that y'all eat your noodles? Yeah, or comment down below y'all favorite um flavor of noodles too. Like what flavors do y'all like? Oh, okay, here goes y'all. Yeah, cause it's too hot. These are 10 out of 10 though. I'm gonna go actually heat some of these up. What 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 are some other things that y'all love to put inside of y'all noodles besides just hot sauce? I know some. Oh, it's about like seasonings and stuff. Some people like to put cheese in their noodles. I've seen and mayo. I've seen a trend now. People starting to put noodles in their seafood bowls. You been seeing that? People starting to put I noodles in their seafood bowls. I think that taste good. Y'all y'all think that it tastes good if you put noodles inside your seafood bowl? I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I don't think I'm looking forward to trying it either. It good. Why are you slurping so much? You. God dang, what? Is that good? <laughs> Yo, chill out. Okay, you doing it on purpose now. Mm -hmm. You doing it on purpose now. Get back. Hey, but now, real talk. I give these noodles. Noodles were a good. Noodles, noodles I give noodles a 7 out of 10. What? They are 10 out of 10. The best snack ever. Especially when you eat them in a long time. And you over here scraping a bowl. I want this little bitty. The noodles weren't that good. Yes, they were. They were busting. I never had the hottest spicy beef. It's crazy. <laughs> noodles always gave me hiccups too, just like Sprite. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Last meal for tonight. Can y'all guess what we have? Something cool, something warm. The fettuccine chicken Alfredo, y'all. This thing cost one dollar. One dollar back when we was in college. Ted used to eat these a whole lot. I didn't like I them. Can't they were so y'all. My mom and I've already know she's gonna be seeing. She's gonna be smiling. She used to buy these. She used to buy me like sixteen of these and fill it up inside. Yes, my inside fridge. your little mini fridge, y'all. These I could not stand. These like they only good if you adding like salt, salt, pepper, garlic powder and stuff in it. But you just eat it just plain like no. But I could used to couldn't stand these. We used to eat these a lot. But we about to go ahead and cook this. I think you cook these in the microwave for just like two minutes. Oh, you got protein in, okay. Wait, do I supposed to open this? I don't know, look, look, look at the side, it's usually on the side, the top side right there. What does it say? Vent corner. Start the camera, let me see what it's talking about. It say vent corner, I don't so, know what that means. So, what we do? I'm just gonna open it. The fact that it's coming in this little cardboard box, it's so funny. Okay, here we go. Hold on, hold on, you're supposed to actually vent it, not take the whole entire top <laughs> off. No. Look, this is how it comes, y'all. You see, it got the chicken, the broccoli, and the little Fredo sauce frozen in the noodles. And you cook mm -hmm. this two minutes. The food is ready. We are here. We with it. One thing I'm gonna tell y'all off the top. First thing number one, it stinks. It's like your butt. 
No, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Stop playing. No, don't. No, nah, you trying to, you trying to I joke, you trying to play. It smell like booty, y'all. Like, I didn't like Edie's things at all. I was glad like, you ate them. One thing I tell y'all that was so big, that was so big to me. Like, this was so big to me. When I was in school, it all been my refrigerator. Let's say if I had 12 of them, but I didn't, if I didn't eat them within like seven days, it would start stinking. It did. I don't know why it always hold the smell. Y'all comment down below if you have these. Why does it hold the smell? Ugh, they It'll so be stinky. after like four days. Days, five days, I, I don't know. But I know after you cook them, it's it's almost the same smell too. I don't know. So that doesn't mean it's I hope good I'm not eating no. I don't know. I just think I don't know. I, I mean, it is pre cooked. I don't know. But we finna eat it, and then I break on smell like that. So you had to get ready to go brush your teeth. So I don't want it. No, you have to eat it. We gotta eat it together. We got. We got this is we are going back in the past. You know what I'm saying? I want to stay. Like we are reliving the moment of us eating broke college foods. I didn't eat this. Yes, you did. I when you came over to my house meals. and we. And we and you sure was like I'm hungry. Woo, woo, woo. Let's 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 eat. You did not feed me this. Cause I didn't even ask this from you. Yes, you I <laughs> no, did. I didn't. All I have some microwave because it's the only thing you could have ate. Ted, I didn't eat this at your door. I didn't even eat at your door. Okay. You eat these. I didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stinky. <laughs> I don't want my breath to smell like this. Come on, eat, right? One, two, three. Uh out No, I did. I thought you said you used to like salt or sugar, whatever it is. Inside yeah, pepper. Of it. I used to put pepper and garlic powder. Why didn't put no pepper in it? Mm -mm. Oh, you don't eat. So she ain't planning on eating it all the way. It don't hit the same how you used no, to it eat it. Ain't the same. It has no taste to it. I know some people usually just get the straight noodles, but I I got the broccoli on purpose because I wanted the taste oh. to it. But it seems like to me the broccoli is not making no difference. Did you eat the chicken? It's fake chicken. You know. That? <laughs> but I can't get mad. I could just save lives. This food right here did save lives. Like, when I'm hungry, yeah, you're, right. you're in that dorm, there's nothing else to eat. You're not gonna kill nothing about all this. What kind of chicken is this in here? It's so gummy. Very gummy. Can you taste that? It's very gummy. I can eat this. It's okay. It's decent. All right. Y'all, I, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna eat all of this. I don't wanna eat all of this. It's a two out of 10. Seriously. It's saving lives. It saved lives. So I, I would say if you in college and you eat these, I would most definitely say get, add seasoning. Like, it's not bad, but I mean, it's not bad. It just ain't what I like no more. And it, I don't think it tastes the same how it used to taste either. It don't. I, 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 it do taste a little different. I don't know. Because I didn't used to get the regular noodles. I always got the broccoli because the broccoli gave it a little more flavor. But it's tasting it like it's, it's not right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we got the wrong one. This is two. I picked the wrong one. I don't know. I get a five. Rating one through five. What'd you give it? Oh, five the highest? <laughs> I give it I, I I give it a three. Cause it's not bad. You can eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's tolerable. It's just every day? Nah, nah. What's going in our stomachs? Food. The next meal we have, E, do you know? No. Do you know? No. The, uh, yes. I don't know. Come on, your college, you know your college meals. What are your college meals? Come on. Pizza. Close. Pizza. It's close. It's Pizza. close. Cause Pizza. it is pepperoni. I get to eat. Okay. She right, it's close. But it's gonna be Hot Pockets. Okay. I, I know, know y'all remember them Hot Pockets. My personal favorite is the crispy, buttery crust. Well, no, this is just extra. I don't even know why they put all that on the box, bro. Is that the only cow we got? Yeah. I don't like ham and cheese. Oh, you don't like ham and cheese? She don't like ham and cheese? I don't like the ham and cheese Hot Pockets. It's better than pepperoni. No, Coming it's down, not. It's not? No, I like the pepperoni. The only thing you have even tried the ham and cheese. I have tried the ham and cheese. I don't like it. Y'all comment down below if you like ham and cheese Hot Pockets. This is my favorite. I did like the pepperoni and stuff, but after I had the ham and cheese. I didn't want to go back. Go ahead, girl. Plate. So you want me to just cook one? You don't want one? Yeah, just give me, just cook one, cause. We could have. Yeah. Hey, y'all comment. Do y'all ever use this? The little thing that come with. I do sometimes, but not really. Like only sometimes. Nah, I don't like to use it. I don't. I don't use the hot pocket. I just put it on the plate and then I throw it in the microwave. Wait, how long we gonna do it for? Two minutes. Two minutes, thirty seconds. Be in motion. The hot pocket is ready. Y'all check them out, check them out. You know, it, it's, it's melted. It looks nasty. It does. Yeah, I like my hot pocket busting. I like it with. I it, like the pepperoni. I don't if see your hot pockets don't bust open, they ain't ready. I want to see how people eat ham and cheese. Get your side, get your side, get your side. Mmm. It's not bad, I just want to prefer You like it. it. You see that? You don't want to say, mmm. It's not bad, I just want to prefer this kind, though. It's not bad, but I still like it? pepperoni. One out of five. Six. Oh. 
Mm, six four. out of five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Four. Five. I'm four. Mm -hmm. I get a hot pocket five out of five. You can't go wrong with a hot pocket. You, you can't. Can, it's like a mini pizza. You can heat it up anywhere. Take it anywhere you need to. A hot pocket. And good, you feel me? If on, on a on a night you're really hungry, that's a meal. He ate these a lot. I could eat a hot pocket and get full off of it. Go to sleep. Wake up next morning. Yeah, you Straight. can. I like a hot pocket like a snack. A snack? Mm-hmm. Have you ever put anything on your hot pocket or like mixed it with something? Mm-hmm. You ever dipped your hot pocket? Mm -hmm. What you dipped it? I've never Pepperoni dipped my hot pocket. Pepperoni wood ranch. Mm. It's good. You gotta try it. You ate pizza board ranch before? Mm. You'll like it. I'm serious. You gotta try it. What you dip yours Sandwich in? Man. Nothing. I eat exactly how I did. <laughs> I do like the pepperoni one with ranch, though. It's good. Just like you eat pizza roll with ranch. You eat everything with ranch with, 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 with pepperoni <laughs> in it, don't it? Mm -hmm. I like the pepperoni bacon pizza rolls, just to be exact. So you're trying to joke with me. Yeah, y'all see how, 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 how picky she being right now? Like, I'm not being picky, I just want what I like. She's very picky on what exactly she eats. She has to say <laughs> every detail of everything. That's just how it is.